Hi and welcome everyone to this lesson in cable design. In this lesson, we are going to learn how can we select the cable cross-sectional area. So first, the first step in order to get the cross-sectional area of the cable used to provide power to a load. Uh, first, we need to find the rated current of this load and the circuit breaker rating okay so assume that we have here a three phase load a three phase load uh, working at a frequency of 50 hertz and this load has a power of 40 horsepower and we would like to find the cross-sectional area of the cable of the three phase cable supplying power to this load okay also you'll find here that here the uh, connection is a uh, star connection okay star connection okay going to the load so we have a uh, three phase a p and c and we have the neutral wire okay so we would like to know the cross-sectional area of any of the phases and the cross-sectional area of the neutral okay so the first step we are going to do is that we are going to find the rated current of the load so in order to find the rated current of any load remember that the current is equal to s which is the apparent power divided by root 3 multiplied by v line to line or the line to line voltage okay so it can be S, the apparent power, divided by root 3, multiplied by V line to line. Or instead of root 3, V line to line, it can be 3 multiplied by the phase voltage, which is, uh, for example, V phase, okay? V phase. So S divided by 3 multiplied by V phase, or divided by root 3 multiplied by V line to line okay now remember that here we have horsepower okay horsepower each one horsepower okay is approximately equal to seven four six watt okay so here the rated current this rated current will be equal to the apparent power s s or the apparent power is equal to the active power b divided by the power factor okay so s which is the apparent power or p the power which we have is uh, 746 multiplied by 40 okay 40 horsepower converted to wattage 746 okay this part divided by the power factor uh, for example this load has a power factor of 0.8 okay so this part representing the s or the apparent power divided by root 3 multiplied by v line to line multiplied by root 3 multiplied by the line to line voltage in my own country for example it will be 380 volt okay it can it is different from one country to another so as you can see all of this will give us a final rated current of 56.6 uh, uh, ampere okay so let's uh, remove all of this so this is the rated current absorbed by our load this current i rated going to the load i rated is equal to 56.6 ampere okay this is the first step second step we are going to find the circuit breaker rating circuit breaker rating so we said before when we discussed the circuit breakers we said that the current of the circuit breaker is equal to the rated current multiplied by a safety factor of 1.25 like this so the rated current multiplied by a safety factor gives us 70.75 
If you don't understand this, you can go to the lessons of circuit breakers. Okay. So now we have the current of circuit breaker, which is 70.75 ampere. Now, what we would like to do is that we would like to get the uh, cross-sectional area of the cable. So in order to do this, we need to find the current of the cable. Okay, the rated current of the cable itself. So the rated current of the cable is equal to the circuit breaker current, which is 70.75, this value, divided by a rating factor. Okay. Now, the rating factor is the one which we would like to find. Okay, so the current we need for the cable is 70.75 divided by the rating factor. Okay, so we need this factor. Now, how can we get this factor? We can get this factor from the catalog. Okay, so here you will find inside the catalog for, for example, for LCD uh, cables, you will find here different tables uh, having a rating factor. Okay. So you can see an air temperature rating factor. You can see ground temperature rating factor, uh, soil uh, thermal resistivity rating factor, the depth uh, rating factor. All of these factors we need when we uh, design our cable. In addition to another factor such as grouping factors and so on. So first, we need to understand where our cable is installed. Let's say, for example, our cable is installed in a cable duct or in air, for example. So since it is installed in air, we need this first one only, this one, the air temperature rating factor. So this cable is installed in air or in a duct, okay? Now, what is the type of cable? Is it, is it a BVC cable or is it a cross-linked polyethylene cable? For example, we have, for example, I am choosing a BVC cable as an example. Okay. Now, this cable is installed in an ambient temperature, ambient temperature or air temperature of what Celsius degree? This is the temperature of the air uh, in which our cable is installed. Is it at 25 Celsius degree or 30 Celsius degree, 35, 40 and so on. So let's say for example, I am installing my own cable in a 50 Celsius degree uh, temperature or air temperature 50 Celsius degree. So I'm going to down like this. So it can be this value or this value and BVC. So we will go like this. So this value is the durating factor of our cable, 0.82. This is the durating factor of our cable. So I'm going to take this value since it is the one which we need. So assuming using BVC cable and the air temperature in the installation area is 50 Celsius degree, then the durating factor from the table will be 0.82. So the cable rating will be the circuit breaker current, uh, rated current 70.75 divided by the rating factor 0.82 which we obtained from the cable from the table. So we will need the cable rating at least 86 ampere. Okay, so we need our cable to withstand in these conditions at least 86.28 uh, ampere. Okay, so we are going to search for inside the catalog for a cable which can help us uh, get this value. Okay, so now I have opened the L3D cables, power cables uh, catalog. Now we would like to search for a cable which can help us in this uh, problem. So as you can see inside the cable, you will find many data, for example, as for example, the durating factor, which we, which we just discussed. You can find a ground since if the uh, cable is buried under the ground, then it has a durating factor depending on the ground temperature. Uh, also, we have a depth durating factor, the parallel depth uh, of the uh, cable itself the soil thermal resistivity durating factor depending on the soil uh, resistivity itself and so on 
okay and also for the cable formation which we discussed in a previous lesson so now let's go and search for some uh, cable you can find here okay so we need uh, first a copper cable okay 0.6 uh, 11.2 kilovolt okay this one can withstand the 180 volt line to line voltage okay which we need now second thing is that we need uh, how many cores okay how many cores first we have as the cable itself is supplying power to a three phase load okay a three phase motor with a or a three phase uh, load with a, a neutral okay so we need a three phase and a neutral so we need a four core cable okay so let's zoom in so as you can see here so the first thing the voltage is the same we need bvc which we have selected and as you can see here it has one two three four core okay so that's three phase and the neutral okay so let's go down here now first you can find here four core cables all of these are four core cables this is the cross-sectional area as you can see nominal cross-sectional area which we need in millimeter square okay uh, neglect the resistance now now as you can see this is the one which is important for us the current rating okay current rating now is the cable uh, laid direct in the ground or buried in the ground or in duct or in the free air now in our problem we said it is in air okay in free air so let's go down here in air like this okay in air okay all of this are the current rating okay and this is the cross-sectional area so the current rating we said that we need a cable of at least 86 ampere so let's go down here 86 so as you can see 86 ampere is between 72 and 94 okay so we usually take the higher value which is 94 okay not 72 so 94 ampere satisfy the requirement in our problem so 94 ampere is uh, here 25 millimeter square okay so we are going to have four cores four multiplied by uh, 25 millimeter square okay plus the neutral okay okay so let's go and uh, get back to our uh, slides so we said before we go we said 25 millimeter square can satisfy the requirement so we said that uh, 894 can satisfy the requirement so we have 4 um, multiplied by 25 millimeter square which is a uh, three phase and neutral plus 16 millimeter square for the earthing okay now uh, someone will ask me uh, how can we know the neutral and the earthing we discussed this in the previous lesson okay so if we get back like this we can say we said that if the phase conductor 25 millimeters such as in our case the earth in cross section area will be 16 millimeter square that's why we said 4 multiplied by 25 plus 16 millimeter square as the earth you can get back to the previous lesson if you don't remember this now for the neutral we said that if it is less than 35 millimeter square such as in our case which we selected 25 then the neutral cross-section area will be the same as any of the phase that's why we selected 4 multiplied by 25 okay now let's say for example if you have a cable parried inside the ground then we are going to have like this okay we have several factors let's say for example the ground temperature uh, 40 celsius degree and bvc cable so we will select this factor okay 0.93 okay this is the first one second one we have a soil resistivity for example let's say 120 
So second factor is one. So we multiply this by one. Uh, let's say for example, the depth uh, is for example, 80. Uh, 0.8 meter and for example up to 70 millimeter square let's say this one okay 0.97 so if, for example you get several one two three several durating factor depending in depending on the case of uh, the cable then you multiply all of these factors together and they get final durating factor Okay, so for example, the cable rating will be 70.75 divided by the multiplication of all of these durating factors. Okay, so I hope this lesson was helpful for you.